And guys, there we go again. Thanks for staying with the stream. This is pretty much awesome. I like it. We saw Power Rangers already, like, combating Hee Hee, and they had very, very two convincing games. Like, in the long run, they always came out with better trades and everything. Virtus Pro just played one. One versus Sigma, as far as I know, and yeah, Power Range is really gonna have a busy day today. Two JDL games, and I think they jump two hours later from now on, pretty much. Yep, they jump into Starlighter as well. So Power Rangers, they have quite a day ahead of them. Anyway, this broadcast is brought to you by Hafla TV. I'm um, I am Hafla Moak, and with me is Coucher. Let's go. Yeah, really interested to see this game. Actually, they should be quite even in skill level. And it just depends if Virtus Pro is bringing their A game, because on paper I think Virtus Pro has like the more known names for sure. But then again, Power Rangers, uh, they can't be really counted out because, like you said, versus Hee Hee, they played two really nice games. The second game was like so-so at times, but still overall a pretty nice grasp on the game. And we already see the ancient apparition picked by Virtus Pro, which is a hero we haven't seen for ages. Yeah, because he was always banned out. Yeah, and the Nature's Prophet with a Vicious coming back. And Virtus Pro will attract the Patroider now as well. It's not banned because the bans actually were the Lycan as well as the Dazzle by Virtus Pro. So the Lycan is a really popular ban. Yeah, I, I actually I don't understand because every time we don't see him banned, we don't see him picked either. So... Where's where's that that entire Lycan ban coming from? Like all all teams fear him. Then again, no one picks him. I don't really understand. But <laughs> it's, yeah, it's I saw bands. him picked for a few days, and after that, it's like he's disappeared from the earth. Of course, getting banned. But yeah, that is the Bat Rider pick. So yep, so They're many saving, strong like, heroes the already. Apex, the Apex, everything that's left. We always see the Nyx. We always see the Invoker, the Lycan as well being banned, and of course, whatever is left. Like the AA and the Batrider always getting so early picked. So yeah, there we have it. AA, Batrider for Virtus Pro and the Nature's Prophet Visage for Power Rangers. And I'm actually happy because the Nature's Prophet, like we saw him many times banned out but never picked. And when he wasn't banned, he wasn't picked either. So looking forward to Nature's Prophet, Split Push and some Red Dodo. And the next set of bans is coming. Ember, Naga, absolutely, yeah, high value bans there. I like it, the Ember like worked out in so many games so far, especially in the CIS uh, games we casted, Empire, Rocks Kiss, Virtus Pro, like the Ember was always either picked or banned and when he was picked he really worked out either mid or even safe lane farm or aggressive try. So and we have the Doom getting banned out for Power Rangers there. Yeah Power Rangers I guess they want to go for something that definitely doesn't want to get doomed. They might try to go for a Storm Spirit or Actually, even a life steer wouldn't be that bad, but I think they might try to go for a Luna. She's really good for pushing. They played it in the last game versus Hee Hee as well, and the Luna just wrecked Hee Hee in the end. Yep, definitely. That Luna was just raising through the glaives, bouncing. It was not even funny to watch. The TA got some farm, but Jesus Christ, those reflections were down the second he put it up, pretty much. And we have the Storm, and the Storm pretty much explains the Doom ban. Absolutely made space for this pick. Yeah, it's it's usually you don't see a Doom ban unless you have a hero that absolutely must not get Doomed planned out. So yeah, and I actually really like the Naga ban by Virtus Pro because when you have the Vicious Familiars, the Nature's Prophet, and a farming Naga Siren with the Illusions, that's just so much split push to handle. Yeah, and also last game we saw, no actually not last game, but the game before we saw like some really nice initiations and escapes with the Naga ulti. Like there's so many setups. Like, like as of late we don't see her that much even in the support role. When she's picked up, we often see her in a farming role, which is an incredible to watch with all these illusions just going, riptiding pretty much like two or three waves, including maybe one illusion in the jungle. So this is like triple farm. Like the gold snowball coming there is sometimes really impressive to see if you see players that like really micro this out to their absolutely a play. And yeah, that's why I like the Naga, but yeah, unfortunately it's being banned out. Yeah, now where to Pro, like what can they go for? They have the initiation with the Batrider, some global presence with the Ice Blast, but that's about it as far as global presence goes, because 
The Vigits, the Nature's Prophet already on the Power Rangers side. Nyx Assassin also banned out, so no sneakiness coming out there. And yeah, like maybe definitely. a clockwork for some extra initiation. I don't really know even. No, I think I think we're gonna see either like the mid pick or something as a core coming out for Rudis Pro. Because I think they made with their bands pretty clear what they wanna go for. Uh as in what would it provide? I actually, I would like to see a Luna on Virtus Pro, because we have the Visage Familiars, we have the Nature's Prophet. That's, yeah, you quite need some counter push there, and I think the Luna would actually provide this. Yeah, it wouldn't be bad actually. Early on, sure she would be squishy, but just be safe, be under your tower, farm up, and no, they go for a Lion for just some. Extra Lion. lockdown, which is really nice. Yep, extra lockdown and of course the finger. Like early game, actually, I was kind of disappointed by the lions we casted in the in the last week because every time we saw that lion, uh, level one finger was not really that significant because either he was lacking mana and if he was not lacking mana, it didn't lead to too many kills, especially because when you had embers in mid, then yeah, the flame guard doing work there, like just absorbing all that damage. So. But so far, Ember is being banned out and there's not too much magic absorb coming in the early game. So this time I hope we're going to see this finger leading to some really nice sub kills. Zip. Yeah, if the Storm Spirit jumps in and maybe even just gets hexed by the Lion, it's quite easy to bring the Storm Spirit down with the finger because the Storm Spirit doesn't have that high of a HP pool at least, not at the start. So Storm Spirit has to be extremely careful how he uses his mana just to make sure that maybe he has some extra to actually escape as well so so far i mean both teams looking pretty strong power rangers of course they have one extra core hero at the moment for their side whereas virtus pro they have their two supports unless there's like a really flashy lion mid lane but i doubt it so <laughs> I, I highly doubt that actually unfortunately i i couldn't couldn't watch the other two games of Virtus Pro now versus Sigma, so that would already give us clues into what tactic they they go for today. Sometimes teams switch that really from week to week. Uh, then again, we know all those players like Mr. Illidan, Jotam, <laughs> Mr. G God, and S and Art Ars is like, yeah, they're known for certain strategies. And but so far, like I think AA in combination with Batrider and not having a core picked up by the third pick. That's quite unusual. That's why I was expecting the pick, like the core pick on the third one, but I think it's coming now. In the meantime, we see a vengeful spirit on the power ranges, so. Hmm. Yeah, it gives them something to stop the lasso with. Uh, vengeful spirit just can neither swap the target out or swap the bat rider, it doesn't matter really. Yeah. And also, it does give some push with the vengeance aura there, so. But them too, the Luna they would be really nice. With, yeah, yeah, I know. The Luna, like double aura. The aura also stacking uh, with the familiar damage. That would be quite good. Also, like the creeps coming out by Nature's Prophet. Unless he's really going for high split push all the time. So, ignoring team fights, etc. That could actually work out. But in the meantime, we see a gyrocopter. And that's. that's I actually like it because in combination with Lion AA. The gyrocopter early magical damage. That's what I that's what I like about gyrocopter the most. Like that early magic damage coming out of out of him. Like it's not too common anymore to go for barrage that early. But yeah, with the lion, hex impale AA slow getting maybe the freeze proc etc etc. So we're gonna actually see a aggressive gyrocopter there. But I'm more curious about slark. what's coming there on power ranges and it's a slark. Wow. Okay. I didn't see that one coming. Yeah, me neither, really. Nope. That was not on my chart at all. Yeah, the Slark was really popular during some time, but I haven't actually seen the Slark almost at all during the last week or two. Yep. So I wasn't really expecting it, but it is a really strong hero, and I think Virtus Pro just played it themselves against Sigma in the last game that they just had, so... yeah. So but I don't Virtus know if, Pro, if yeah. that works out. The problem about the Slark is like him being I kinda I kinda lacked like the, the strong core that just pops the BKB and is invulnerable pretty much like we had it with the farmed Luna in the last Ranger Power Rangers game. And we have a Windrunner. This is a lot of CC coming out for Virtus Pro. This is uh four protect one 
pretty interesting actually. I love the Wind Ranger. <laughs> Wind Runner. Don't no, say Wind Ranger. No man, I have to say the name that I read. <laughs> no, there is no such hero as a Wind Ranger. There's only Wind Runner. Yeah, well, it, it is really stupid to name her Wind Ranger and still leave the ability name this Wind Run. It's like it doesn't <laughs> yeah. make sense. Yeah. Oh well, for for Blizzard it does. Like, oh well, I, I don't want to go there. Like because I've been a loyal uh, Blizzard player even like on a, on a higher level for for years. So I like the entire company and all the games around it. But like this take away names for I don't know trademark issues this is I don't know I, I find the idea absolutely retarded because yeah, I you, you, you can imagine my surprise I was like in the army just minding my own business coming home on the weekend and suddenly there's no windrunner anymore <laughs> they took away my windrunner yeah man anyway one of my I gotta introduce heroes. the teams pretty fast we have dire team this time played by Virtus Pro. we have Illidan on a gyrocopter Ours art is taking the lion, Windrunner played by G God, and S is on the AA, and last but not least, there is Jotam on the uh, uh, Batrider. Yeah, and for the Power Ranger side on the Radiant, J4 playing on the Vengeful Spirit, Chisar Cat playing the Nature's Prophet, Scandal, of course, most likely, Mid Lane Storm Spirit, Moon playing the Kyrie Slark as FNG up on the Visage. That's pretty nice, yeah. A few of us just wrote, like, he wonders if they go for anti-mage. Actually, this would have been much more likely than a Slark, actually. Like, that Slark pick, I, I just didn't see it coming. Like, that was so off for me, at least. Like, I wanted to see a Luna. Like, now that he mentioned the anti-mage, yeah, that could have fit into it as well, but a Slark. I really I mean, wonder uh, if that Slark works out. It fits uh, with their overall lineup I think somewhat yeah, just because the storm Vortex spirit stun. is such an aggressive hero and the slark can really complement that and with of course nature's prophet TPing in as well yeah and by the way we have like here the block coming out there's a aggressive ward already coming out by Jotam he just fire fire flew how do you say it he just fire f he just fire flew there <laughs> <laughs> yeah so he flew there <laughs> <laughs> on fire and planted that ward. Uh, so far, there's no one who could even dis like de ward it. And the second ward coming out for Virtus Pro is a traditional ward here, giving vision to the rune and some surroundings there. So that's yeah, pretty obvious. And they also protect this top rune. So far, there is well the eventual and the massage. They're looking at this rune as well. The lion actually has to be careful there if he's caught out. Like now? Yeah, he has really low moments with a oh, nice two-man earth spike though. Yeah. Make sure that nothing actually happens and the rune spawning bottom. And there is a sentry ward coming out here, so they want to protect like this spot, which is also a very common ward spot. Anyway, the creep waves are heading towards each of their lanes. We're gonna see the offlane prophet in mid. We have the storm spirit, which is not a surprise, and on the other side there's a wind runner. I like that. And Visage and Venge heading to babysit the Slark. So this is try on each side. This is pretty much like a mirror setup. And I think both have to care a lot. And I think the Prophet is more in danger than anyone else. We already see Flak Cannon coming out. So I don't think this Nature Prophet is going to be very happy. I, I see him already swapping into the jungle at, I don't know, two, three, four minutes in. Let's see how that turns out. Definitely first blood material. Yeah, you can easily be on the lane for like the first creep wave or two, which there is almost nothing you can actually do about with the changes that the creeps come on faster for the safe lanes. So the Prophet definitely about to hit at least level 2 before the pulls come out. Yeah, but and the three ends actually, he used his three ends not to pull but just to block the camp from spawning. So that might end up in Virtus Pro either just going for sentries thinking there's a ward or yeah, he's just buying himself some time, getting some nice XP from the creep waves. Yep, and so far the the trailing here of PR has a slight advantage simply for the fact that the small camp wasn't blocked and he went for a single pull so that interrupted the creep wave. So we see a Prophet almost being level 3 and a Batrider like just dinged level 2. So at the moment, slight advantage for a PR there, but yeah, it's it's early game, it's it's not significant. But sometimes a level makes a difference. Yeah, it sure can. And actually, the ancient apparition just used chilling touch to take care of the tree ends. That's just how annoying those little buggers are. And now, Cheshire Cat is moving around. 
the invis rune is there and he can grab it and with that invis there's no detection up on the supports mm, for Virtus Rider. Pro. Getting caught out here. Oh, there's he magic might... missing. Yeah, he might be in trouble. There's the Grave Chill as well to slow him down. They might need another rotation. If he uses the Firefly, he should be safe. Yeah. Yep, but still, no XP, no CS in that time. Even though no, he's gonna fly. Oh, over he's the coming back. He's turning. No, no, never mind. He is fast enough with the boots of speed that he has. Yep. If Slark were, was any closer there, they could have actually made the first blood. But Slark at the moment just busy to grab those CS. He needs to farm anyway. So, and he's not doing bad. Like at the moment, 13-6 compared to the Gyrocopter on the other try lane. It's a 14-4. So, quite even at the moment, and I like it. Yeah, and actually, Pounce uh, for the Slark is oh, one of the I best abilities against... Yeah, there's the slow on the Batrider. Will there be a Pounce? Yes, it connects That will be the first blood. Moon will grab that for himself. Very uh, nice. So Slark starts with a first blood. That's 1,400 yeah. gold for him. If he ever wants to go for a Midas, that is the opportunity. But Slark, not the best Midas hero in my opinion. So might just go for early power threats, maybe drums. We shall see. Maybe just thrash the Shadow Blade even. Yeah. And unfortunately, the Vengeful just failed her uh, double pull because it's unfortunately that stupid camp where the priest is actually sometimes just standing still instead of coming. Yeah. So, yeah. I actually really like what Scandal is doing at the moment. He double stacked the medium camp, and now in his time off, so called, from from the lane, he just went there, cleared yep. the double camp with the static remnant as well as overload. So getting some, well, maybe not extra XP, but the Windrunner is quite annoying with the power shot in the mid lane. Yep, so. he at least keeps up with farming and that's good. And now there's blinks coming out by the Visage, so... But they have no sentries here, so... No, actually, there is a sentry coming out here in the river, but they it's not close enough to spot this ward. Like, this ward spot is amazing because they already used the sentry for it, didn't find it, and Batrider might be in trouble, but yeah, he smells the bait and yeah, he's going back. But Gyrocopter having now free farm simply because Nature Prophet decided to go out, but he's already level 4, so Nature's Prophet at the moment successful in farm. We see a rotation mid coming, uh, the Lion with the Haste Rune, very dangerous for the storm, but yeah, Scandal smelled that too. Yeah, and actually there was a pounce on the Batrider, but the Slark was solo, he's just harassing with a pounce. He is maxing it up just to make sure it's on a lower cooldown, which is a very nice thing to do. It's the main source of just chasing potential for the Slark early on. Yeah, and the top tier one is losing a lot of power. Oh, we actually saw that go on the storm, and Scandal is down. Yeah, the Scandal thought he was really safe. They had an observer ward spotting out the movements of the enemy, but I think was there a smoke? I don't know, there, there was no smoke, like Lion actually went back to the top lane and I thought it's over and then, yeah, suddenly he, he came back and Storm like didn't notice. Well, misplaced by the Storm, I guess. He is now level 6, just barely actually hit it. So, it shouldn't happen easily again, but oh, maybe she Batrider. started up with a shackle. Oh, Batrider going down, he gets shackled up as well. Moon not in range doesn't have enough, missile. there is one more right click if necessary to yep. get it as there well. There he goes. Stark's That's soul assumption doing kill. so much damage and he's blocked in but pounces out and he's, and he's safe. almost level 6 so he doesn't care much about like HP lost because he will just regen it back once he's out of out of vision so that's pretty easy for him. He even gets now a self by the vengeful zone so with the next creep wave coming he will just get that level 6 and yeah Slark having a good game but there's a rocket flying now on the prophet so that's driving him away from the tower and I think yeah they will keep on pushing that tower. I think this tier 1 top is gonna fall pretty soon. Oh, actually, the smoke coming in by the Visage and the Vengeful. They're going with the Nature's Prophet. He has barely enough mana for the Sprout as well as the TP after if needed. So they might catch Illidan off guard. It's a very nice opportunity. He doesn't. He has a lot of armor actually as well with the Helm of Iron Will. Regening up now and... Yeah, backs off in time, so I don't think they, they can make go. the guy. They still wanna go. If they get the AA though, if they catch him. Oh, there's the Sprout going. The Grave Shield not used yet. Finally goes with the Magic Missile. Soul Assumption, and that's the kill. Very nice. So that's like... If you like put a mirror on this match at the moment, it's going a tiny bit better for a PR. Like, the Slark is now level 6. Almost le actually level 7 right now with the last creep there, and... Storm got now invisibility rune, heading for mid, but Windrunner's already knowing that, yeah. 
So, but yeah, the Slark having much better farm than the Gyrocopter at the moment. He's like almost 10 CS ahead. Yeah, he's also been involved in two kills and got them both of them, and one was the first blood. Oh, and Storm's so, on the hunt here. He wants yeah. to catch that bad rider. But the invisibility rune is running pretty soon out, so I don't think he will find anything. And we're gonna see PT's next item for him there. He already bought the Battle Strength. Yeah, I think so. That's the only reasonable explanation to get the belt of strength. Yeah. Just if you get it like a casual belt of strength for extra HP, and that's I don't not optimal. I guess is what you could say. Yeah, this invisibility rune on the storm. It didn't find anything significant. Like I mean, he just scouted out that like Batrider is stacking up the camp, even though he's a bit unlucky with the golems coming out here, but. He didn't find anything, but in the meantime, Visage took over the mid and he got quite some nice levels there. This is 8 minutes and a support, Visage is level 5. So he needs like 1-2 creep waves, like with a lone experience and that's pretty much it. And Storm is gonna get a double damage run. Oh, Batrider is actually... Visage finds Jotun. Who will get to the double damage first? Oh, they catch Jotun with the electric vortex, the sole assumption. And they do have enough damage, Scandal getting the kill, but Visage drops down in turn G. With them a level 4 power shot and they right click. Yep, that was very nice rotation by Windrunner there, sneaking that kill on the Visage, so the Bad Rider's death was not in vain. Then again, tier 1 tower, as I predicted, is the first one to fall. And yeah. I really think that the Bad Rider should have rotated into the jungle way earlier. It's now almost 9 minutes into the game, he only has his Tranquil Boots and 500 gold, so he's so far from the Blink, blink Dagger. Nowadays it's quite usual to get your blink dagger even as an offlaner bat rider at like 8 or 9 minutes so definitely delaying the initiation power that Virtus Pro has. Yeah, definitely and uh well, Slark is not going for the push here. Like I think Slark has now. Yeah. Like he got a casual praiser and I actually thought, "Oh my god, goes he does he go drums and no shadow plate?" But yeah, the claymore is up now. He had 1400 gold. So this is going to be a really, really fast uh, shadow plate. Yeah, it can be really nice if you get it early on. One is that you force uh, your enemy supports to buy loads of uh, counter vision, like sentries or dust. And usually the supports, they don't have that much gold. And even then, like if you sentry just random places, like uh, the river for example, the Slark will know if there's a sentry, if it's just standing there because otherwise his ultimate is activated. And if it deactivates, he knows there's a ward or a sentry around. Yeah, and Bedrider is now coming back to this lane, but yeah, the Bedrider are not having a good game here right now. And we see a smoke by PR, Storm Visage and the Vengeful Spirit, but Gyrocopter already standing under the tower. But to be honest, I don't think they can dive this. If Storm goes in and the magic missile actually gets him, then that gyro is faster dead than the Tal would do any significant damage. And so far, maybe they try to find the Batrider farming here, but yeah, Gyrocopter absolutely heading back. They are well aware that this dust is coming, uh, the smoke is coming. And yeah, and actually Chi and Arsart are smoked up as well, so they want to do the same yeah. to Slark. Yeah, but both not finding anything. Slark <laughs> is knows that there are too many players missing on the field and like, yeah. The smoke ran out for team uh, power ranges here at the moment, like the AA and the gyro. But they achieved at least one thing at the moment. <laughs> no one is farming. Like really, no one is farming at the moment. It's really funny to watch, but the familiar is now about to scout out the and They know he's there, but they're already running the other direction. So well, and they just push the tower instead. They are like, OK, fine. If you don't show, we go for your tower and force you to come. Yeah, it's just a battle of wheels, who can camp out the longest, and they get one familiar. Yeah, with the chilling they touch. They might get the second as well. Yep, with the chilling touch, easy. Oh, Storm oh, Spirit gets a kill on the Batrider on the bot lane. Very nicely done. Well, familiars for a kill on the Batrider. I don't know why the Batrider stayed alone there, and like, all of them rotated into mid, and the Batrider stayed. Well, the Slark is happy. 300 gold, 200 gold now away from the Shadow Blade. Yeah, and actually NS is richer than the Batrider. The Ancient Apparition now already has a point booster up, so going, or at least trying to go for a very early Aghanim Scepter, which doesn't really surprise me. The 17 second duration for your ultimate is just so strong. 
Yep, and so far, like, the goal and experience craft is not too far off. We have, for PR, a slight advantage, like, 1,500 experience and about 700, 800 just gold, so it's not really interesting. And we have yeah. a AOT hitting the visage in mid, but this is just harassed and anything else. At the moment, that yeah, VP's just firing their entire jungle and Slark is being left alone and I think this is like the dangerous part. And if you look at the chicken, yeah, there's the shadow plate coming now towards Slark and I think as soon as this uh, tower is down here, he's gonna finish the tower. Tower like 370 HP, but as soon as that shadow plate is done, he's going aggressive and he's gonna get people with it. Yeah, I think exactly the same. It would make sense because you just don't want to keep your Slark farming. It's not like a Luna or anti mace who just farms, 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 then comes kills, uh, kills everybody with items. He needs to. Oh, actually, he's dropping really low. Ice Blast oh. hits as well. Jesus. Even uses his ultimate just to get out there faster. But he won't shatter, level... but it's so close. This is level. Yeah, this is level 1 AA OT. If this was level 2, that would have been a shatter for sure. And the tower is also in the nine range, but Moon regening up and he'll oh, go and AA. to. Look at AA, de warding here so they can stack for gyro, but he, he dropped so low just for the sake of de warding. But there's a smoke on Arshard as well as G, they have the finger of death. The tower did get and destroyed. Slark in trouble. Yeah. If he gets hexed up, he's dead. There's the. Oh, the Shadow Blade! Yep. Early Shadow Blade doing work. Arshard hesitated for a little bit, he didn't want to go straight away. I think he should have just. Go in, get the hex, or at least try to, but he didn't oh, even try Ice Blast, he's three in the mid lane. And Scandal goes way. in for Jotham, Jotham uses the Firefly to escape, but Scandal is just Easy. barely getting the kill. Yeah. He had enough mana to just fall lightning around, get and the extra overload charges, and G completely misses with the power shot. Yep, he doesn't get anything in return, and at the same time, there the mid tower, not existent anymore, and the same here. And the funny thing, at the same time, like they wanted to go for a deny on the bottom tower, but like the familiars got it, and here in mid was also a, like a deny attempt. But oh, and Slark is going. Moon on the hunt gets ours at one right click, pounds, gets the sh uh, dark pack as well. Then. Yeah, four lion. <laughs> Very nice, Slark. I don't know. I take everything back I said at the draft. That oh, it scandal might on the hunt with haste. NS in some big trouble. Slark is there as well. Electric vortex. Pounce, dark pack, and storm spirit actually grabs the kill. Yeah, very nice, very nice there. Yep, as I said, I take everything back. I said in the draft, Slark is working out. He had the farm. He has that early shadow played. He's now level 11. This is level two ultimate. This is pretty sick. Even though Gyrocopter is now farming up as well, like farming a bit the ancients here. Unfortunately, he doesn't get the additional stack here at like the zero mark. But uh, well, he has Helm now. The face boots and 1,600 gold. Up oh, his Moon is going really aggressive with the Shadow Blade. He might get caught. He finds Illidan, goes for a right click, found the dark back. He actually gets the kill, but there's the cooldown, slowing him down. He does have his ultimate left. There's the two, two supports away. are coming. Ice Blast misses and he uses his ultimate. Earth Spike actually hits as well. He gets dusted up, so once the ultimate ends, he pounces his way. Scandal comes in with the electric quarter stun to Arthur. There won't be a stun actually. There is the Hex. Will there be the Finger of Death as well? He uses it. Still, Scandal alive. Can he get the power shot? He comes off cooldown and he does hit, but magic missile up on him. And oh, now Slark gets the bad mega for Virtus Pro there. They tried to get the Slark, but yeah, with the storm and the vengeful coming in. Oh, oh, oh. And Chessar Cat already has a level 2 necro book, so Power Rangers, they're looking so good to actually take this game and pretty yeah. early as well. The, the, the funny part about the Nature's Prophet, I mean, so far the ultimates weren't even timed. Oh, for Ice Blast might catch Scandal? Yes, yeah, Scandal will go down to it. <laughs> yeah, but like, how how did he know? I, I was yeah, they had a ward here. The ward. Yeah. He just came from the rune. He was hoping the rune would spawn bottom. And this sentry ward, it's out of range. Yeah, and oh. this was a dominating streak as well going now to an S. Like, pretty nice play. I didn't even catch it. I was like looking, where is it flying? Where is it flying? But yeah, that he does it actually into fog of war. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, pretty nicely done. They're just predicting the movements and just the oh, now it's the Slark going, but they know their sentry is there and does Vengeful. Yeah, Vengeful has another one, so Slark maybe could back him up there. Yeah, what I wanted to say about the Nature's Prophet, it's pretty interesting to see so far he didn't TP anywhere in, 
nowhere. Like no, none of those gangs, none of those. Uh, I wouldn't call it team fights, but like it was uh, free on two, free on three, etc. He doesn't bother at all. Not even the ultimate wasn't used at the moment to like support these fights. Like they didn't need him so far, and he's just free farming. Like the Midas is running. He doesn't use it at the moment because he's farming ancients. But yeah, level two necro coming out. So this Stage of Prophet is getting scary at some point if they if he just keeps farming freely. Yeah, he is really big at the moment, and he actually has four assists just with some random ultimate bounces. They haven't been crucial to the kills because those heroes were dead anyway. But just getting some extra little assist gold, helping him out now, using the Hand of Mind just needs only 100 more gold actually to get the Necro level 3. So he will have it by 18 minutes, I think, and that's huge. I mean, Virtus Pro, they're not ready to fight up against Necro books. No, absolutely not. The Necro books, as they are right now, they would rape that lion for example easily like 500 something mana if he casts a couple spell necros units going on him it's the same for the aa they find themselves pretty out of mana so fast at least jotham has the blink dagger now on the bat rider so they can try to catch somebody off guard but the counter initiation from the storm spirit as well as even the slark coming in from behind is just so strong that virtus pro they really have to pull a miracle out to try to turn this around yep and slark now Pulling the creep wave to the small camp, and they use this opportunity. Nature's Prophet is coming in. AA OT as well, but I don't think they are too impressed by it. You know, they know they're not rotating. They want to trade instead, but while this tower is already down, and they might even head for tier 2, Virtus Pro is still just heading towards the tier 1. So I don't think PR wants to defend this. They want, like, okay, guys, we go for your tier 2, while you go for our tier 1. Yeah, they just don't care at all. And the Necro Book 3 is also popped, so I think it yeah. will be a tier 1 for tier 2 exchange, which is definitely in the favor of Power Rangers. Both teams have Cliff, so we actually might see the Cliff now coming for Dire No, no both teams don't use the Cliff, but in mid, the next tower is already in danger. Yeah, and Ice Blast misses everybody, unfortunately, as well. And yeah. the, the Bat Rider just. They need to find openings with that hero. It's the only initiation, like literally only initiation. Sure, they can maybe counter initiate with a nice shackle shot oh, by the Slark Windrunner. Oh, Slark goes in. Up on shot and gets the pounce, gets the dark back. He needs to use the ultimate. Oh, just barely survived the fall down. Unfortunate that there's no AA ultimate to follow it up. Like, did you see that, like, Batrider actually crapped him in the animation of his pounce? Like, he was already jumping, and, like, in the middle of the jump, the lasso came, but still not enough to kill him. That's how farmed he is at the moment. That would have been big actually, catching that gem pretty much like a minute after the gem has been bought. So yeah, AA ulti harassing here some people, but overall, Nature's Prophet now having face boots. I don't know what he's going next. Is that the Shadow Blade? I, I don't think so. He's she's just going full man mode and just full, full out pushing. Yeah, probably. Maybe a Desolator actually might come out as well. Get some minus armor, extra split push power. Yep. And he's using the ultimate at the moment to farm, like that's that's actually what I said all the time, like he doesn't time it for potential team fights and everything at the moment, he's just pushing out all the lanes, farming up the enemy jungle as well. So Slark is free farming at the moment and yeah, Virtus Pro is being pinned down pretty much. The gyrocopter is just taking like the residual creep oh. waves that come in. Oh and Scandal. Yeah, Scandal wants to get Chi, he has the Orchid ready. So Chi, if he manages to be really quick on the wind run, he might get away. He has the four staff as well, though. So but he might but get the the bat rider if he rotates back into jungle. Yeah, Virtus Pro are playing so conservatively; they're just not going anywhere out of their base now. Necrobook used once again to push out the mid lane. Yeah, with the with the three ends, it's just such an army. Chotum now goes in with the firefly. A little bit of mana burn, and he actually brings the creep, so he doesn't want to feed the gold of the necro books. No, never mind. Yep. He does it anyway. But Gyro <laughs> taking like almost 50% HP just by the necro unit. Yeah, he got 200 gold at least, so not that bad if they're not fighting. But if there should be a fight now, it's definitely bad that he's already down oh to yeah, half HP. Oh, there's the blink, play break off onto J4. Stun, magic missile, very nicely done. Disabling the blink dagger as well, swapping him. They want to counter it. There's the Necro level 1 by J4 as well. Scandal coming in, gets a kill on the Chiro straight away. Arshart now gets killed by the Soul, Soul Assumption. Assumption. 
But the visage walking in the firefly getting really low here. You gotta be careful with the power oh, shot. He has a Midas as well. Oh, oh and Slark Slark. cleaning up in. Yeah, he wants to go for more NS. He's really low as well. Nature Prophet TP's in. Oh, the four staff getting him out. She wanted to save him, but instead made sure he's dying. There's the electric vortex that pounds wow. and they double Team kill. Wipe. I think it will be an early GG. Yep. Very nice play there. Like. They driven them out in mid, so they were already retreating, but Slark was like, no, no, you guys, you're not getting away. Now the creeps are coming, the creep wave, so back to protection is off in a second. Now the back to protection is off, so this is tier 2. And Nature's Prophet, what a nat good Nature Prophet does, split push. Yeah, and the Moon now finishes up his Lincoln Sphere as well. So it's a lot harder to disable him by the Lion, or even the Bat Rider, rather. Yeah, oh, and the Nature's Prophet got... 2,800 gold at the moment. The Slark is up with, yeah, 500. That's also about time to show the net worth. And the last time I showed graphs, we had like just 1,500 XP lead. Now we are facing 14,000 experience, four power ranges here. Like Slark happily dewarding and looking at the gold, 12,000 for PR. That's, oh, this is looking grim. Like, I don't know, I don't even know what to say because I was just thinking about how Wardish Pro could come back with a good initiation, etc. Maybe an early kill on, on either Scandal or Moonlight, but I don't know. I, I, I don't see this happening. The Batch Rider just not being in this game. He got the Blink Dagger now, but there's also no damage coming up. Like the but this is this is what I hate about the gyrocopter, like having like helmet and the BKP, okay, he's survivable. Like he's surviving now more. Still, he's not dealing any damage. Yeah, he does really need at least one damaging item before he like comes online, if you can say so. Oh, and sure they're the for the Nature's Prophet, but yeah, that's right. They're not finding anything. But Gyrocopter is being happy about killing like two dream waves. Or actually, like, this is actually wrong what I say here because they're mushrooms. They're like, oh, little Slark little on the hunt. I think he will find our Sart or no, going for it. No, he doesn't want to fight one on five, doesn't want to lose the gem. Man, a right decision, I think. He they really sh can't go over aggressive at the moment because if they give away kills, then that is where Virtus Pro can start to just capitalize on the mistakes. Yeah, but. I mean, look at this, like, look at the map control. I mean, we see a five-man smoke now coming out by Virtus Pro, and I think, yeah, this is the only thing they can do to get back into that game, but we have the Storm, and we have Prophet farming both jungles, Visage farming their own jungle, and all the other lanes are pushed out now, and now even Ancient stacking starts, and, oh, they're gonna find Visage. Yeah, Chotun goes in with the Firefly, he tracks him to the high ground, the Ice Blast, just in case, and yeah, the EA this was a... This was a five-man effort for a single visage, and in the meantime, all these lanes are pushing. Yeah, it's it's looking oh. really grim. Even Vengeful Spirit has a level one Necrobox, so they... Oh, the Courier dies to Moon. <laughs> Very nice Courier snipe there. Was, was something in that Courier there? Uh, no, it wasn't, but they might catch Moon, or will they? The Lincoln gets popped. He uses the ultimate already. He's escaping. Only the familiars are there to just stop him. Yeah, they're just trying not to die. Yeah. I actually wonder that they don't push the top tier 3 in all that time because look at them, they're like just grouping up S5 or 4. And yeah, in that meantime, I think they could have gotten at least quite some damage on the tier 3. But Power Rangers, they don't want to do any mistakes. They wait for the openings they get. Yeah, they don't really have to rush it. Nature's Prophet is closing in on his uh, shift stick. All he needs are around 900 gold more, so won't take him that long with the Midas, with his ultimate. As well as maybe get the level 2 Necro Book at least on Vengeful Spirit. He is getting some Ancient Last Hits at the moment, so he might get it after this stack if the Nature's Prophet isn't too greedy. Yeah, and we see already Necro 1 coming out by the Vengeful Spirit, so this is gonna be two Necros on the pitch, and wow. The dangerous part is uh, actually with flak cannon killing like two necro units. I mean, he got a BKB, but if that BKB is used, I mean, so far I think he didn't use it. Yeah, this is a 10 seconds BKB still, so that's quite easy, but it's still 
then later if it's just four seconds left you suddenly kill two necro units and you find yourself with like no hp left yeah it is really dangerous and that is well i think really good about the pkv especially the 10 second one that you can just tank off the damage if you say so but once the pkv starts wearing off and it's only four seconds you can't really control the necro box deaths and later on it like even later on the de death of the necrobook does so much damage to you that I don't know it's just not looking good for Virtus Pro what I like the most is really that early gem paid so well off here for power ranges so far because every time Virtus Pro tries to get the map control back it's immediately dewarded by wall, like by Slark and friends it's pretty the, like the only wall that survived is now this this uphill ward here on the high ground like the sentry and that's it and now actually a new ward is coming out but like in before that is dewarded too if they go this way around the rush pit look at Virtus Pro they're just sticking together and PR is just farming so much more effectively at the moment I really think Power Rangers are going to fight now Scandal has picked up his PKB again him Skepter he's there for the visage and yeah Sheep stick up on Prophet, so they have all their items, there's no need to wait anymore. Get the Roche maybe, uh, just to be extra safe. And... Virtus yep, Pro, do they want to go in? Yeah, shot them, he's going, Ice Blast is flying as well. Can they drag somebody? Moon gets actually dragged out, but he doesn't get hit, so Moon tries to turn it around. Shot him, goes down, he got Sheep by Nature Prophet, I think. There's Scandal coming in, Arshard silenced up, killed off the Electric Vortex on the Chirocopter, and that's a godlike. For yep. Moon and, GG and Illidan gone. is calling it first. He says like, no guys, we, we can't total this out even. The Slark alone already being a nuisance. Now Slark with an Aegis. That's even more dangerous. That's a fast GG. Well played by, by Power Rangers. Definitely. This is their, their third win now in a row. So, looking forward. Game 2 coming up in a second, guys.